find myself in. Amen. He's a God that's more than enough. He's always been faithful. Hallelujah. He'll always be faithful. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We have to remind ourselves. We have to stir ourselves up and remind ourselves that he is more than enough. Hallelujah. For whatever we have need of. Praise God. Hallelujah. Stand up and praise God with us. Amen. Praise God. He's more than enough. Praise God. Come on and tell somebody else. Tell the devil. Hallelujah. Remind yourself and tell God. Hallelujah. Who he is. Praise God. He is more than enough. Praise God.
clap of praise. Hallelujah. He knows where you're at this year, and praise God, he's going to supply every need you have this year. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Let him know that you know and have confidence in him and his word, and he's going to do exactly what he said he was going to do. Amen. Hallelujah. He ain't never left that out yet. He ain't never failed yet. He's not going to now. Amen. Praise God. The devil is a liar. Praise God. We need to get that way down deep in us. Amen.
He's got the love of God. Hallelujah. Who's not afraid to show it to the world? Amen. Praise God. Who we got on the inside. Hallelujah. Who's not afraid to manifest Jesus to somebody else? Amen. Hallelujah.
as I kneel in the dark day, in the middle of love the night, pray in the more assurance of everything gonna be alright. Lord, I face another battle inside and through. Still and soft, said I've moved like that before, and I'll do this little thing for you, child, and I'll give you so much more. And I walk on the water, I calm the raging sea, I spoke to the wind, and it hushed and it gave. something and you just really need a touch from God and you can say I could sing that song and that God has sung that song to me this morning but I need a special touch from him this morning I'm going through something God knows about it you don't even have to tell us but if you would come now to this altar I believe that God is going to minister to you he may give you peace in the storm. He may cause you to walk on the water in that situation. Whatever he does is up to him. But he wants you to know how much he loves you. And this song is such a ministry in itself. I'm going to ask them to continue to sing and play this song. But if anybody needs a touch this morning and you just really want to just give it all to God, just come on now. Don't wait, just come now.
As I kneel in the darkness in the middle of the night, I'm praying for assurance everything's gonna be alright. Lord, I face another battle and it's right in front of me. I'm afraid I won't be able and I'll hold down in the feet.
it's out in front of me. I'm afraid I won't be able, and I'll go down in defeat. Say, girl, you remember where I long Just take a look behind you, and I'll call you up. And every time you ask me, didn't I get here?
take long because Ricky's about to preach. I know he's got a message. I had a guy that I went to school with, and I'm 21 years old. And this guy was either he was 21 or he's 22. I, I don't believe he was on drugs or drinking or anything. He was a, he was overweight. And he got real. He got down and he dropped a lot of weight. He was real healthy and he died of a heart attack Saturday my age, you know, our days are numbered, and I, I really feel strong that if you don't have that assurance, if you don't know that you need to come up here, make a confession before men, don't be ashamed, but I feel strong in my heart that somebody needed to hear that. This man was either 21 or 22, and he died of a heart attack. And it was, uh, she had been dead for a while. And I, and I, I lost it when I saw her because I wanted to be holding her hand when she, when she left me. But I wasn't, and I figured there's a reason for that. But I was watching the news the other day, and there was a boy on there. And this boy decapitated his mother because she was nagging him to put boxes in the attic. He cut her head off. Now, if you don't think that the devil has power, that you need God to fight that power, you are very wrong. I fight battles in my mind daily. A lot of other people here do too. He says to renew your mind daily because the war is getting stronger and stronger. If you are not driving each day to get closer and closer to the Lord, he says even some of his very elect will fall away. 
think about that. My point about mama was, you're here now, and you could be gone in two seconds. But you better be sure. I'm not saying nobody in here didn't. I'm, I'm just talking. That you are ready. You're ready. You know that you know that you know you're ready to go be with Jesus. Because it happens that quick. I watched my sister take her last breath. And it puts thoughts in your mind about life. That's all I need to say. I want to speak to the young people and children. Your church loves you, and your family does, whether you feel like they do or not. There's a bond within people. Sometimes they don't respond, sometimes they don't show it. Be good to your parents. Speak kindly to them. The Bible does promise there is a promise children obey your parents in the Lord there's a promise that your days will be long on this earth and I know that it's a, sometimes it's in a rebellion period of the lives of young people I went through maybe just a little not much because my parents oh, were very strict I knew I always knew what a whipping was and I always knew when I was to respect my mother and my father. But I had a desire to please them. And you know, it paid off in my life because I had a desire to please them. God has looked kindly upon me for that. And I want to tell you, young people, I'm sure you've been taught this over in the youth building. But I just want you to know that what you're doing now and what you're saying to your parents and your grandparents is being recorded. It's being recorded in heaven. You might think you're real cool and you might think that you've really got it under control because you're a teen. All teens feel that way. It's not just you. But let me tell you something. Let God come the storms in your life. Don't take it out on other people when things don't turn out the way that you think they should. God's got a purpose for that. Right where you are, right who you live with, God has a purpose in your life for that. So God wants to say to you this morning to let go and let God. Don't try to deal with your hurts and your disappointments on your own. Reach out to God and let Him direct your footsteps and direct your life. I can't say it enough. Rebellion is sin, and it says the witchcraft to God. You hate witchcraft, I do too, because it's demonic. And so rebellion is demonic. I don't know what else to say to you that, but that your church family loves you and we are praying for you. Praying for your life. But you've got to realize that it's not all about you, that this world is, does not create, is not created just for you. It does not rotate on its axis just for you that there's other people involved in your life. It depends on the testimony of your life, how you touch other people and your friends. Don't let your friends, which are really not in, uh, your friends if they're influencing you in the wrong direction. Because you can't really love unless you've got God's love inside of you. The only way I know to tell you to handle this is, is to give it all to God. Because you can trust Him. He can calm the storms in your life. And He can calm the storms in your family life. We never chose. 
I never chose to be Jeanette, born in the Harris family, but I was. There are a lot of choices you will be having to make pretty soon because you're teenagers, you're beginning to think about your future. But don't always create an atmosphere in your home that I'm always right and you're always wrong. You're supposed to honor and respect your parents and your grandparents. And there are things that you could say to them that would make them very pleased and give you much favor. But there's also things that you could say to them that could cause them a lot of grief. So I think that's all I have to say to you except that we do love you and I am telling you the truth. The Bible says that you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. If you want to be made free, then get a hold of the truth and hold on to it. God's word is truth. Read it. Read the book of Proverbs. It will give you an opportunity to understand how you're supposed to act and react. You're told now, do it all for yourself. Why should I care about other people when they don't care about me? That's the attitude you hear a lot of times with adults as well as young people. God is saying to you this morning, He cares so much for you. More than you could ever imagine. God t turned His back on His Son as His Son was dying on the cross. And He said, Father, why have you forsaken me? He did that for you. So that His Son, He couldn't look on the sins of the world which Jesus took on his back and on his shoulders. I hope that you understand that this is told to you in love because I'm under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I don't get up and say anything unless the Holy Spirit is leading me. And he is today. I want you to go to your parents, your grandparents, even if you don't even like the lifestyle maybe that, they, that they're living before you, they're still your parents. And you're still responsible to honor them as your parents. And who knows, the Bible says a little child shall lead them. Who knows that what you do and what you say, it could very well change their lives altogether. Just remember this. I hope that when you lay down tonight and when you walk through the day, that you'll remember that these words will penetrate your spirit. They'll get in your mind and change your head about what the way you think about things. This is God's house. There is an umbrella of protection over you when you're in the house of God. And that good feeling you feel when you come into the house of the God is the fact that His presence is in this place. And we're a family. There are no big eyes and little U's in this place. God allows people to speak from their heart to you. And I believe that everybody that's here this morning has received something from the Lord. I know I have. I have been blessed. Brother Ricky, I've done it again, you know, but I didn't do it. You know who did it. Okay. I'm going to turn it over to Brother Ricky. And my prayer is that God will bless you spiritually, physically, and financially every way you need. Turn around to the person next to you and say, do you need prayer about anything? And if they do, then make it a matter of prayer this week for them. Thank you for obeying the Lord, sister. Hallelujah. I've seen the power of God working so strong. And I want to tell you one thing's on my heart uh, this evening. God laid this on my heart this past week. Just a little testimony of who He is. Amen. I've seen God working up here so powerful. 
in his congregation. Amen. I want to tell you what the Lord dealt with me some this week. I got family that's lost. I got family that hurts my heart that they lost. I got family that thinks they're saved. And I heard things come out of their mouth that hurt me. Cursings, things of that nature. And they think here that everything's okay. And part of me, as a Christian wants to rise up, usually I rise up against the devil and evil and everything. And I was with some of my family. I'm just going to tell you. Uh, and I was saying, hey, this person that I, I love is, they're doing so wrong. They need to get right. They're doing so wrong. And the man part rose up. Said they living in this sin. They're doing this sin and it's not right. And when I started walking out the door, I said, I'm sorry. I said that in a judgmental way. But it's what God's word says. The consequences of sin, there's a price to pay. So I want to tell you, I got to looking at a Christian show on Sid Roth and this lady that quit her job. She was a doctor and God told her to quit your job, raise your family. She struggled with it for three months and she quit her job. And when she did, she went home and started raising her family. By the way, her husband was making minimum wage. He had credentials and been graduated from college and everything but couldn't get a job. She obeyed God. She went home, started raising her children, started digging in the Word. God started showing her how to pray for people. My brother preached a message on prayer the other day. It stuck with me. Need more of it. But I want to tell you, she started praying for people the way God was dealing with her and people started getting healed, delivered, set free, saved. Things was happening. And so she talked a little bit about how she prayed. And one thing that stuck in my heart, <laughs> you know, when we get up there and pray, we pray, God, Help my family. I apply the blood of Jesus over my family, God, and be with us this week, God. And, 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 you know, the fundamental basic thing, you cover yourself. But this is how you need to start. This is how she started. She got in her prayer closet. I got in mine the next morning. First thing I said, God, what's on your heart? God, what is on your heart this morning? God, what do you want, God? Oh, God, it, guess what? I didn't move forward. I just shut up and listen. And I had been praying about my loved one that's lost. This is what God said. He spoke to me. He said, it's my desire that they be saved. And I want it to be your desire. I want it to be your desire. Oh, it got my heart, y'all. God's desire this morning is our loved ones to be saved. That he told me. We know that, but he spoke to me. And he'll speak to you. So we need to pray. God, I know it's your desire that my loved one be saved. God, help me. It be my desire, God, to see the lost coming to you. That's what he showed me, y'all, for this new year. It's his desire. He spoke to me. Man, when he speaks, you know it. It humbles you. You put that pride and that judgmental spirit aside. You show the love 
that his son showed for you and I, amen? I want every head bowed in here right now. You know, ever, uh, they done asked a couple times if you in here this morning and you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ and you want to be saved, I want you to raise your hand. I'm going to pray for you. If God's moving on you right now and you're not saved, you want to be saved. God's moving on you this morning and you want to rededicate your life to the Lord wholeheartedly in 2015. I want you to raise your hand. I want to pray for you this prayer that anybody, anywhere, you on the internet, if you want to pray this prayer, I want you to pray this prayer. Praise God, I'm talking to the Christians in here this morning, but I know on that internet, everybody's not where they need to be with the Lord, but God, it is his desire to come to him. If you'll come to him, he will save you. I want to talk to you right now on the internet. Every head bowed, I want you all to pray with me. On the internet, if you don't have the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart, his desire that you have him. But it's your choice. I pray in the name of Jesus right now that you'll make the correct choice to draw to him and he'll draw nigh to you. He said, if you believe that his son came and died on the cross and was buried and raised on the third day, the Bible says, thou shalt be saved. The Bible, that's God's holy word. I pray you made that confession this morning in 2015, this evening now. God bless you in the name of Jesus. I want to pray, every head bow. How many in here this morning has a desire to see your loved ones? A desire, a God-given desire to have your loved ones saved. I see all those hands. Well, our Heavenly Father has that desire. Let's do our part. Every head bow. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray, God, you touch each one that had a hand up, God. I pray in the name of Jesus, God, you give us that desire, God, the love of Jesus in us, that we can project that to our families and our loved ones, God. In 2015, God, we'll see our families come in, God. That's our prayer this morning, God, and we'll see our families come in, God. It's your desire. I know it, God. We know it. Help us to have that desire more than ever before, God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God. Everybody said amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Come back tonight. Yes, come on up here, Robert. Uh, this is a little bit about praise and worship. I'm not a big speaker. I don't speak a lot, but like she said, the Lord, the Lord has led me to come up here and say something. Uh, I wasted, or felt like I wasted, a lot of my life partying, going to concerts. I used to get to a rock and roll concert and jump and shout and raise cane, and the devil loved it. He loved it. He was like, "Look at my boy go." And now I want to jump and shout and praise the Lord. Just like the Bible cuts me like a two-edged sword, some of these words from these songs cut me deep too. And I have to jump and shout and praise the Lord and play guitar and give it to him. And now the Lord is saying, look at my boy go. And, and I know in this house, in this house, you never have to be ashamed or afraid to show what the Lord's doing to you. So don't be afraid to jump and shout and give it to the Lord. And as far as prayer goes, I just talked to my daughter yesterday. I got to call Monday and see about getting custody of my two granddaughters because my daughter ain't living right. And I've been praying for my daughter, the Lord, to help her get straight. No, not anymore. I got a new prayer for her. 
Lord, I don't care what it takes. I'm praying. I called her on the phone and told her this yesterday. You know what? I'm praying bad prayers for you. I'm praying bad things to happen to you. I don't care what happens to you in your life. I don't want you to die young like your mother did. So whatever happens to you, don't think it's strange because I'm praying bad things to happen to you until you turn and start living like you're supposed to be living. And I'm only saying this because this is what the Lord's given me. And I've got lost loved ones out there too. We all do. And I want to see them in heaven. I know I'm going to see all y'all in heaven. out because this is his service amen this is his service god bless you come back tonight bring someone with you